With its complex culture and numerous unique customs, it can sometimes be a little stressful to dine out in Japan without worrying about making a cultural faux pas. In order to help make this experience a smooth and enjoyable one, here are some basic points about dining out in Japan. Entering the restaurant When entering a restaurant in Japan, you are greeted by the staff with the expression irashaimase, meaning something like, welcome, please come in, to which you are not expected to reply anything. The waiter or waitress will then ask how many people are in your party and then lead you to your table. Only on rare occasions will customers be expected to seat themselves. The most common types of seating in restaurants include Western-style seating, zashiki or traditional seating on the floor, counter seating. If the restaurant has more than one seating style, the staff will usually ask which one you would prefer. Most restaurants have a no-smoking policy. However, smoking is still allowed in some smaller and older restaurants that display a smoking allowed sign at the entrance. Ordering and eating Once seated, each diner is usually served a free glass of water or tea. If that is not the case, free water or tea is available for self-service somewhere in the restaurant. With the glass of water, you will also be given a wet towel called oshibori, which is used to clean your hands before eating. While you might see some other people do it, it is not good manners to wipe your face or other body parts with your oshibori. If chopsticks aren't already set, you can find them in a box on the table. Most often they are disposable chopsticks that need to be separated in two before using. Nowadays, more and more restaurants have an English menu, and a lot of restaurants have menus with pictures, which can be helpful if you do not read Japanese. In the case where a menu is in Japanese only, you have two options. One, Ask the waiter for the osusume, recommendation, or omakase, chef's choice. The latter will often get you some surprisingly good meal, but prepare to be adventurous and do not expect it to be cheap. 2. Use the plastic replicas of the dishes often displayed in the entrance of the restaurant and point at the one you would like to be served. These replicas serve to entice the customer and provide an accurate visual description of the style and price of meals found inside. To order, you can call the staff using the word sumimasen, excuse me, or use the call button located on the table of many restaurants. Once you have finished ordering, the waiter or waitress will often repeat your order for confirmation. At many restaurants, everybody at the table is expected to order one meal individually, but at casual dining and drinking establishments, such as izakaya, it is also very common to share dishes at the table. Paying after receiving your meal, or once you're finished eating, the staff will leave the bill face down on the table. In most restaurants, you are supposed to bring your bill to the cashier near the exit to pay, since it is not common to pay directly at the table. Cash is always accepted, and a large majority of restaurants also accept credit cards, as well as other electronic or mobile payment methods, such as Suica IC cards. Some restaurants, such as ramen shops or gyudon restaurants, have a different way of paying. Instead of ordering from a menu at the table, you order your meal from a ticket vending machine near the entrance before being seated. Finally, tipping is not done in Japan. If you do so, you might end up with the staff chasing you to give you back any money left behind. Instead, it is polite to say gochisousama deshita when leaving. So there you have it, the very basics of Japanese etiquette when it comes to eating at a restaurant. Make sure to also check out our table manners video for more detailed information on proper eating manners in Japan. For more information or to check out another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your number one comprehensive up-to-date travel guide firsthand from Japan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about Japan. Happy travels.